Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today I'm going to be showing you the steps to making a high quality, clean looking YouTube thumbnail. The YouTube thumbnail is one of the most critical things when uh, publishing a video. If your video stands out when people are searching for your video and it has a great looking thumbnail, people are more likely to click. The first thing that you want to do when creating a YouTube thumbnail is go ahead and decide on a theme for the thumbnail okay so is your video about a dog is it about your family what is it about and once you have that in mind you then want to go into Photoshop or Illustrator whatever your design program that you use and go ahead and start designing it around that theme so I'm in Photoshop here and I'm going to show you just a couple steps to really make your thumbnail stand out the first thing you need to know is the size of the thumbnail what is the highest quality size you can upload to YouTube as a thumbnail. I'm going to show you that now. I'm going to go ahead and go to File, New. Once I have done that, I then will name my thumbnail. So I'm going to go ahead and name this Thumbnail 2 just for the sake of this video. And then what you want to do is look down here where it says Size, okay? The width of your project should be 1920 pixels. The height of the project should be 1080 pixels. Now, if, you know, for some reason you don't want it to be the highest quality that it can be, then you can change that to 720 or 480 depending on what resolution you want to do, but you will need to adjust the width alongside that as well. So, this is the highest quality size that you are allowed to upload onto YouTube as of right now today. So 1920 by 1080 pixels, and then I leave the resolution at 300. It really doesn't matter there. Uh, the image size is 5 0.93 megabytes so that's not a very big file so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK now that I have my canvas laid out what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set a background what you do not want is on the edges over here of the thumbnail you don't want any wasted space unless that's part of your design you don't want any white lines on the left and the right or top and bottom of your thumbnail. What you do want, however, is a nice image that covers proportionately the whole page. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up to Window, and then I'm going to Layers. Then I'm going to double click on the background layer to unlock that layer. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to go to Layer, Layer Style, and then I'm going to Blending Options. Once I am here, I'm going to apply a few blending options to make the background a little, you know, stand out a little more. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a gradient overlay. I want to go ahead and click on gradient overlay and then click on the color of my gradient. I'm going to change this black color here. I'm going to double click on that. And once I do so, I got to click on it here in order for it to pull up. I'm going to actually change that color. So I double click on that and I'm going to change that color to a nice dark red color and then click OK. I'm going to leave the other, other color white because that looks fine and then click OK. The next thing that I'm going to do is apply an inner glow and I'm going to change my blend mode to darken. Click on darken and then once I have done that, you know, you can change the opacity, you can bring that up, you can bring that down. I'm going to leave mine right around 85 and then I'm going to change the color of this to a black and then I'm going to click OK. This just adds a nice little reflection on the inside of all the borders around the background there. Kind of makes it pop out a little more and then I'm going to click OK. Once I have done that, I now can start adding my text and my images. Just to speed up the process, I'm not going to show you the, you know, the process of inserting the text and the images. I would assume you know how to do that. To insert an image, go ahead and download one off the internet or pull one that you've created and then go to File and then go to Place. Okay, in my case, it is a YouTube logo that I pulled off the internet on my desktop and I'm going to place that now. Obviously, it is a little too big. I'm going to resize that now and then I'm going to place it where I want it and then hit the check mark right up here within Photoshop now I have a nice YouTube logo for my thumbnail so I'm going back to my original image here and as you can see on my thumbnail I have two images that I placed here and then I have some nice interesting text that is a very good looking text that is big enough for people to read when they're searching through videos so again let's recap you need to have a size 
of the project, it needs to be 1920 by 1080 pixels. That will have the most high quality look and feel to it when uploading to YouTube. Also, you want to make sure your text is readable and your images are very clear and people can know what those images are. You want someone to look at your YouTube thumbnail for a video and say, oh, I want to watch that video just because I saw the thumbnail. So guys, that's a little tutorial on how to make clean, high quality YouTube thumbnails. If you do, however, have any other questions, put them in the comment box below. Please help me by subscribing to my channel and liking my videos. It does help me out. And thanks as always for watching my videos. I will see you guys next time.